Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Anthony from CompSize Studio, and welcome back to your 14th programming tutorial in Java. So, today we're going to be learning about do while loops. So, I think uh, three or maybe four tutorials back, we learned about the while loop. Essentially, they're the same thing, except a do while loop is executed at least once. Um, I'll explain what this means, so you'll, you'll get it once I start doing a program. So, let's get started by making a string, and we'll call it name. And uh, I'll set it equal to my name, Anthony. And um, then we're going to make um, a variable, an integer variable, that's going to be used as a counter for our while loop, our do while loop, actually, sorry. Uh, so let's just make that, make an int, uh, call it counter, and we'll set it equal to zero. Now, this is where the actual do while loop comes into play. The first thing we need to learn is one keyword that we're going to be using in every do while loop we're going to do. So it's uh, kind of self-explanatory, it's actually do. So once you have that down, you're going to put an opening curly brace and then a closing curly brace and then bring it down like that. Inside our do statement, I'm just going to print out my name. So I'm going to go system dot out dot print align and I'm going to print, print out name. And actually, yeah, I'll print out the counter too. So I'm going to just go plus, put a space there, and then plus uh, counter. If I didn't put this little uh, space here, um, then the name, it would write Anthony, and then it would write the number zero right beside it. So I'm just adding a little space in here. And I'm not sure if I've actually covered how to put multiple things in a system.out statement. That's supposed to be out. There we go. Um, I'm not sure if I actually explained it, but what this is called is concatenation. And basically what I'm doing is I'm taking name and I'm adding a blank space beside it. This is just a space. If I put like, I could put a whole bunch of words in here if I wanted to, but that's just a space. And then I'm adding the number uh, zero on there as well. So that's just what that's doing. Next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to increment the counter by one. So in our incrementation uh, tutorial, we learned how to do that. So you just go counter plus plus. Next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to make the while per portion of this um, do while loop. So we're going to have to use our keyword while. And then we're going to say while counter is less than five. And then we end it with a semicolon. So let me walk you guys through this. Basically what we did, we created a string called uh, name and we set it equal to Anthony. And then we made a counter for our do while loop that we're going to be using in order for it to run. Um, right here we have our keyword do. So basically what this is going to do is it's going to go no matter what, even if counter was um, greater than 5, it's still going to run this statement at least once. So it's going to go here, it's going to print out Anthony 0. And then it's going to add one to it. And then is the counter still less than five? Yes, it is. It's going to run through it until it gets to four. So let me run this for you guys. Show I'm not lying. And here we go. We have Anthony zero, Anthony one, Anthony two, Anthony three, Anthony four. So it's went through it five times. All right. So what if we had counter and we set it equal to like a hundred? If we ran that right now. As you can see, it printed out Anthony 100. Even though counter wasn't less than 5, the do while loop is always going to execute at least once. So there you have it. Um, that's about it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, please personal message me. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, yeah, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.